Oh guys, so in this video, I will show you how you can simplify your WordPress workflow in four steps using automation tools. So for this example, we are gathering some low competition keywords from reddit.com that contains manifestation and how. So we put some filter right here so that we can only gather those uh, keywords that, you know, uh, we can convert into articles. Okay. So as you can see, there are a bunch of low competition keywords right here. So we just select our, uh, you know, preferred keyword like for example you want to select everything here so let's select all these keywords right here uh, which can be easily converted into articles so we copy them now we will use this uh, template that we you know frequently use during our automation because this one will be very helpful for us to uh, easily um, complete our auto automation process okay so we put the status here depending and we will have all these 50 uh, uh, keywords to uh, be in pending status right here. Now in um, make.com, so what you need to do in order for you to create automatic articles directly published to your WordPress. So first we will capture, uh, you know, keywords one every time the automation run. So here we need to search for uh, this search rows right here using Google Sheet module. So we click that and of course we will select uh, the keyword from our, uh, you know, Google Sheet gmail connection which this one keyed kw and let's select that right here so you can see here kw and the name of the sheet will be this one sheet number six so we select that and here we will be uh, selecting keyword with a pending status and we only need one at a time okay so here we put one so that's our first step right make sure you select the status then click okay now we run this as you can see, it, uh, you know, fetch the first keyword right here. That's what we need to uh, do. The next thing is we will create an article. Okay. You can use here OpenAI or ChatGPT, uh, Claude. But in this scenario, we will just be creating four steps. So I will be using the service of this article AI generator. As you can see, when you go to app secret key, uh, we can just simply pass these three parameters and then we are able to create a high quality article. We will also pass this fourth parameter to generate image directly to our WordPress. So let's continue. Uh, you just need to select this HTTP and then here, select make a request. Make sure the method will be post and the URL will be coming from this one. There you go. request URL right here. So you copy that, paste it right there. All right. Now here in the header and uh, header, just keep it blank in the query string, you add parameter. So we will only need this tree. Okay, initially, so username, of course, your username from here, you just simply copy that, paste that right there, and the second parameter will be the secret key, and then uh, copy that in the key, and then the value will be, of course, this secret key right here, very easy to follow, and the next parameter will be the keyword. This will be coming from the uh, Excel sheet, this one, the Google sheet. So we already run the first data. So here, just select these keywords from column A. So that will be dynamic. Okay. Every time we run this automation, it will fetch the first one. It will fetch one keyword for us to generate. Now, what we need here is image. So we have the featured image directly to our WordPress. So you can copy this parameter right here, pass that as well. And you can see the value. You can say yes. Okay. Because we need the featured image. So here, and that's it. That's all the configuration you need to create a high quality article. Now we click OK. The fourth step here, actually, you have the option here directly to post to WordPress. The only thing here is you need to create post. And then again, the f another one is you need to create media right here. Uh, there is a create media. And the third one to be able to put that media into your post. What you need to do is use the uh, get here, get post right here, get post. And then here, you will be able to update the post passing the media item to be able for you to create your uh, featured image. So if we want to eliminate these uh, steps, okay? So here, we can use this automation tool helper. I'll leave the, descript the link in the description below. So this is free, you just sign up. And here in your credentials, you can add as many WordPress credentials as you want. You can also add Medium. So for this one, I already added the credentials for my WordPress, which is right here. The only thing you will require is this identifier, okay? So in Home, going back to Home, so as you can see here, you scroll down a little bit, you will see the section WordPress Automation Helper. So you copy this uh, request URL right here and go back here. The next step that we will need to add after the creation of article is this HTTP, okay? Now here, the same thing, we need to make a request and paste that right there, okay? And make sure this is 
post method will be post as indicated here post and then the header parameters we will need to pass some header parameters okay so click this add header just like that and the value will be here so copy that value right there and that's it okay now here since we add remember we in uh, this creation of article we added the parameters in this query spring but here to be able for you to post to your wordpress add it here in body type make sure you select this uh application form url encode okay now we will simply need to map the response from here okay since we do not have the response yet okay what we need to do is uh we will run this we will run this uh so we will get some data and then here in the parse response make sure you select this yes okay so that the response will be encoded into json we can easily capture the data click okay now let's unlink this first because we want to run this that you have the data here so let's take a look at the data so here you can expand this data right here you click that and you will see these are all the required information you need so the title of the article so the content will be right here and then here is the image url and then the image filing so we will only need these three title content and image url now we will be able to map that in our next step right here so the third step okay second to the last step now here we add the first item in this form url and calc and code in the body type go back here so username fourth username will be your username here in a ai automation tool helper so we copy that and then uh, come back here paste the value of this username and then next thing is uh, what we need is the post title okay post title right here so the post title of course we are ready to map that from here this is the title coming from the generated article so copy the title right there uh map the uh, post title now the next step is the next parameter that we will pass is the post content post content right here so we paste that make sure there are no space in between so we will avoid so we can't avoid any further issue so the post content again just simply map the content from here again the response from this uh generated article and then the next thing is uh let's see here if we need an image so we copy this add image okay add the image so we paste that in the key value and then you just simply mark yes okay here now since we are marking the add image as yes what we will need to pass is the image url so copy that and come back here image url of course the image url coming from here and then click ok that's it okay now the final step is very simple we just need to mark this every time you generate a, uh, this keyword so you will mark this as done so the next time automation runs it will capture the next keyword right here so to do that again select your google sheet and here you select update a row update a row of course select the same uh, spreadsheet right here which is this one kw and then select the sheet number sheet number six and row number will be coming from uh, this google sheet okay so that's the row number so it will update uh part the particular column from that row number and this is that column status so you mark it as done and that's it uh, these are the four simple steps for you to automate your wordpress article okay now let's run this and let's have a look at how the article appear in our uh, wordpress website so let's run this automation so the automation successfully ran but there is an error invalid identifier okay i forgot to add uh, okay the value of our identifier which will determine where we want to post our uh, wordpress so here go to credentials so this is our wordpress credential where we need to post the uh, content so you copy that and uh, make sure you had that identifier right there well, in the value and the key is the identifier right here so it's indicated there there i don't know why i missed that so copy the identifier uh key right there so it will know it will determine um uh, to which wordpress connection you want to post the article okay let's run this again okay now the our automation has been completed successfully let's now take a look as you can see it's marked as success and there is a post id that means it's now on our wordpress so we go to post and there you go 
that's our article right there so how to make a vision for word uh, for board manifestation so that's our article in draft mode so we click uh, this preview and let's take a look at the featured image right here directly created a featured image and then our you know high quality article right here so you, you can see it has a multiple format so that it will be well presented to our uh, reader and SEO friendly structure so it ranks higher on Google and the right number of words right there it's a long form article which is really good so that's how easy you can set up these four steps uh, workflow in order for you to automate your uh, WordPress article creation and it's you can see right here it's done now uh, it, it's getting the second one because the first one was uh, you know uh, you know that's what we did to uh, test the automation so that's fine and then as you can see this one it's marked as done so the next time we run the automation it will capture this uh, third keyword right here all right and now once you're satisfied with the configuration of your uh, workflow you can publish this this you can turn this to this to on and you run it like every one hour so you say if you want to run a fresh article every hour so you set to uh, 60 minutes or every two hours so things like that okay now as you notice here it's draft but you can have it published automatically just by again passing this uh status post status so we update our uh here the third steps the third module so you just add this uh parameter right here post status to publish okay so that it gets published every time we run this automation okay so that's it that's how simple it is to set up your uh, four-step uh, workflow using make that come you can also do that uh, using active pieces in active pieces it's uh, quite simple so again same thing so our trigger here in active pieces will be um, you type this schedule so click this schedule and select how frequent you want to create an article let's say uh, every hour like that now the next uh, step that you need to add is the same thing Google Sheet so you make a connection to your Google Sheet right there and here the same thing you just need to find r rows just like that okay so select your Google Sheet connection and then select your sheet which is the same thing KW right there and then the sheet number will be this one right here and here what we need to find is here status is pending okay so that's what we need to find and the number of rows it will return is just one okay the second step is again uh, you will uh, need this HTTP okay this HTTP and you just follow what you did here in this HTTP right here using the service of article AI generator or if you have some any other you know uh, service that can create article and can be put in this workflow you can do that okay and then what's nice about this is here in the fourth uh, step you can directly select WordPress and here in WordPress connection in WordPress module of active pieces when you create the post this is very nice because you can immediately put the URL of the uh, featured image so that it can automatically create featured image which in make.com you need to separate the uh, module of uh, creating a media but here in active pieces you can easily include uh, the featured image which is you know very fit because here in article AI generator it returns the image URL right here so you can easily map that here in featured image and of course map the same thing the title the content okay and then uh, the status of the article if you want it publish or uh, draft just like that it's a uh, much simpler when you are creating that here in active pieces okay and then the last step of course updating the uh, status of the keyword that you already generated to done okay a very similar flow if you want to use the active pieces you know the difference of make.com and active pieces there are pros and cons uh here in make.com you can find most of the module that you need in order for you to automate uh, your workflow but in active pieces there are some limitations uh, when you are adding your work when you are creating your workflow because some steps here are not available but the thing here advantage is the pricing of active pieces is quite flexible uh, on top of 1000 operations free per month you, you just need to top up one dollar if you need an extra 1000 operations okay that's how flexible active pieces is now in make that you need to uh, subscribe to their uh, plan which is I think the lowest is twelve dollars and you get ten thousand operations so if you don't need the ten thousand operations so it's you don't have a choice you need to uh, still uh, subscribe to that lowest plan Okay, so I think that's about it, guys. If this video is helpful for you, uh, please don't forget to leave a like. And thank you for watching.